in my last video. I covered how to join Heaven itself, the LBP private servers for PS3. But in today's video, I will be teaching you how to join those exact same servers for PC using RC PCS3. Let's get started. To get started, you'll need to dump your copy of Little Big Planet. Dumping games is the act of taking a game from your system or game card and copying it into a readable format onto your SD card. There are two methods of dumping your game, using Multiman or Webman on a jailbroken PlayStation 3 and transfer your game to a FAT32 flash drive or transferring it via FTP, refer to the PS3 guide to learn how to jailbreak your console, using a Blu-ray drive and inserting your LBP disc into it. If you'd like to take a dump with Multiman, a full tutorial will be linked in the description. If you'd like to use the Blu-ray method, however, in order to dump a disc version of the game, you will need one of the Blu-ray optical drives compatible with PS3 discs. You can find the list of supported Blu-ray drives on the official RPCS3 website. If you have one available, then you need to insert the PS3 disc into the Blu-ray drive and then you either need a disc dumper if you are on Windows or a Python program Libre if you are on Linux. Both utilities are also available in the aforementioned website. Using disc dumper, insert a PS3 disc, run the program, open up settings page, top right corner, choose the destination folder where you will choose to extract decrypted PS3 disk contents onto and click OK. Then click start to start dumping the disk. Use Libre. After installing Libre, open up the terminal and type this into it. You will now need to prepare RPCS3 to connect to Beacon by altering a few settings. In RPCS3, navigate to Config Network and configure your settings like so. The DNS can be set to either 1.1.1.1 or 8.8.8.8. Additionally, you will need to create an RPCN account. To create one, navigate to Configuration, RPCN Account and click Create Account. Patch your eboot file is also required. There are two methods you can follow. A manual method using Union Patcher and a much simpler method using the RPCS3 Game Patch Manager which can be done as follows. In RPCS3, go to Manage Game Patches and apply the Only Show Owned Games filter. Apply the Beacon Custom Server patch to your copies of Little Big Planet. After applying the patch, press the Save and Apply buttons. Or you can use the Union Patcher method with the instructions on on screen right now. Also, just like how sharing false gossip isn't exactly kind and not very kind to the government, so is sharing your eboot files. Don't share your eboot files, kids. It's almost as illegal as doing crystal meth. In order to decrypt your eboot.bin, open RPCS3 and, under the Utilities tab, click on Decrypt PS3 Binaries. Navigate to HDD0 underscore dev slash game slash and locate your game folder. Open it and open the USRIDIR folder. There's way too many letters in these acronyms, God damn it. Click on the eboot.bin file and click open. A new eboot.elf file should appear in your USRDIR folder. Just like for PS3, you will be required to use Union Patcher to change the server address. Download the latest version of Union Patcher, extract the zip file to a folder of your choice, download the .NET 6.0.5 desktop runtime. Union Patcher requires this to work. Linux users can use this alternative download. Double click on Union Patcher.exe on Windows. Linux users should find unionpatcher.linux. Locate the file and select it. Paste the server URL of your choice. In this case, it's lighthouse.lbpunion.com slash ps 3 Relocate the eboot.elf and reselect it. Navigate down to file name and rename it. The name can be anything. For the purpose of this tutorial, it will be referred to as eboot.lighthouse.elf. Click patch. Now that you have patched your eboot.bin file, you're ready to connect to the Project Lighthouse servers. The LBP community is waiting for you on Beacon. At least what's left of it. So let's talk about how to get started. In RPCS3, go to File, Boot, Elf, Boot, Self, Slash, Elf, locate and select the file. Optionally, you can alter your patch eboot file in order to boot a patch Little Big Planet game directly from your main RPCS3 window. There are two methods which allow you to do this, but for the purpose of of this video, I would recommend doing the first one, which is renaming eboot.lighthouse.elf 
to eboot.bin, but remember to back up your original copy of eboot.bin. If you did everything right up until this point and Beacon is online, you'll be greeted by an announcement screen with further instructions. Congratulations, my friends. The following instructions are exactly the same as in my last video, so simply pause the video here to learn how to set up your account for the Beacon website. Now you can finally relive your childhood memories as I have successfully helped you join on PS3 and on PC. If you need any help, let me know in the comments. You can join their Discord server, link in the description, they'll be happy to help you out there. The last video didn't do so well. <laughs> But if this video somehow gets 100 likes, I will make a PSV tutorial. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.